functional interface is uh, you can uh, have only one abstract method and uh, um, in that class uh, uh, you can add multiple default and multiple uh, uh, um, uh, multiple uh, static method inside it but only one abstract method have to be implemented so basically the use of uh, uh, is like in the like you can use lambda expression for that particular uh, for writing any uh, implementing any uh, uh, functional interface so predicate is the uh, uh, predicate you can use predicate the predicate is uh, a defined um, functional interfaces uh, in java 8 library so predicate is basically suppose you are you want to use filter uh, inside the stream so uh, you can define your predicate and uh, implement uh, do your implementation inside that and you can uh, uh, you use that for the for your implementation so do you know the difference between consumer supplier predicate function yeah consumer and consumer supplier predicate function yeah so um, consumer is basically uh, used for the uh, like suppose you are using for each loop right inside uh, stream api so uh, you uh, the you can use consumer inside that and um, the once data will be um, uh, there and you can do your operation inside that and uh, uh, that will not be going to be return you any value it will only do uh, what you did implementation from your side and then it will be going to be return nothing you can do sim system or or you can do any api call or some uh, asynchronous call or some uh, call from uh, for the particular method uh, you, uh, it can be done but uh, it will not return anything do you know what is java class loaders yeah um, there are three type of java class loader uh, bootstrap class loader external class loader and so have you worked on spring security yeah can i explain so for, uh, for the uh, spring security uh, you can use uh, means uh, you can add dependency of the spring security inside your pom.xml and uh, uh, so after adding that dependency inside that uh, you can uh, you can uh, uh, made your make your configuration and uh, inside the that configuration you can use like uh, suppose some restriction you want to add inside the particular url and some role you want to uh, you want that some uh, by this role only i am going to be give access to for the particular uh, url so you can define that after this uh, uh, base url i will not going to give access uh, uh, only I access has been given to the it seems it's discussing multiple types okay okay what i was asking can you explain me spring security how does it work so uh, basically um, uh, spring security uh, means uh, you can use uh, by um, various authentication um, uh, uh, you can use J jwt token for uh, authentication purpose and for the authorization you can use uh, spring security so you have to do um, means uh, C uh, CRF, uh, csrf production you have to use and uh, uh, where you can define your uh, classes like you can um, um, define like you can use uh, the part for the particular uh, um, uh, particular base url and slash strict you can add the role like uh, if a role has to be user then uh, this url is going to be access or you can use like um, um uh, suppose uh, some access is go uh, going to be uh, given inside the um for the particular management area so uh, the uh, role is like if if role is like uh, user management then the particular url is going to be uh, access so you can secure a method uh, by uh, on the uh, base of the method or you can secure uh, based on the uh, url level uh, so this type of uh, uh, security can be done. How to change the server? I mean, suppose uh, if I have to change from Tomcat to JT, and how I'll do it? So basically, uh, on the, for the <coughs> So for the deployment purpose, uh, you can create a jar and you can deploy on the Tomcat also on the cloud also uh, and in the 
jetty i have not used the jetty till now but uh, you can uh, deploy it to the jar on the jetty also so tom uh, for the tomcat uh, i have worked on the tomcat tech means uh, for the deployment purpose so i have created tomcat uh, and inside the uh, that uh, folder i have uh, put the jar of the particular and then it is going to be started one interface is, is, has been created and uh, through that you can deploy my application that thing uh, that jar and um, uh, by this way, by creating jar, you can add uh, do deployment. So, what are the different stereo type annotations are there? So, annotation is like you can use REST controller and uh, uh, service at the rate service at the rate uh, um, at the rate uh, um, repository at the rate uh, um, entity at the rate table uh, at the rate auto wire. This type of annotation you can use. How do you enable transaction in a Spring framework? So you can uh, use at the rate transactional uh, for the uh, implementing of the uh, transactional. Suppose uh, you are uh, you want to add some data inside the uh, inside your um, table, and there are multiple tables. Then you can use at the rate transaction on the method level, or you can use on the class level also. But if you are going to be using the class level, then all those method uh, level in that class is going to be transactional. So what is a higher order component in React? So uh, class, uh, suppose you have a class component and uh, uh, in the render method you are rendering some, you are, you have some child component. So uh, in the child component you are sending the some property. So uh, that, I mean, suppose cla class A is the parent component and uh, Child is uh, child is uh, child is B and B the B is getting some property. So uh, higher order component for the B is A in that case. Tell me. What is uh, how do you optimize the React application? So you do not use callback, use memo. How do you optimize uh, the application performance? Use memo, use callback. So okay, so that is fine, and probably I have. So what is the difference between primary and qualifier annotation in Spring Boot? Yeah, so interface right, and in 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 that particular interface, you are uh, you want to use. Uh, um means like uh, suppose uh, there are multiple interface uh, implementation of the particular right and uh, means uh, you have a class a uh, class b and class c so qualifier is used for the uh, for indicating that uh, inside um, when uh, uh, means uh, Suppose you are uh, implementing that interface, uh, you are uh, auto wiring that interface inside any class, like suppose a class A, no class uh, D, uh, D A B, right? And you have an implementation of class A B C inside um, uh, some particular interface interface name is B. So in that case, uh, you can use qualifier uh, for the the uh, identifying because uh, suppose you are auto wiring, then you, uh, uh, for you have to define which class implementation you are, uh, you want to invoke in the particular class. So so uh, for that case, you have to use a direct qualifier and class name. I got it. So what else? I uh, expectation is how do you utilize it? Means with example, can you explain me yeah, how you? Have that's what I am telling. Uh, there, suppose, suppose you have a class A, B, and C, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you have another class uh, A, B, C. Suppose uh, you have another class A, B, C, D, right? And mm -hmm. uh, uh, interface I. Uh, interface having name i is implemented by all those abc service and if you want to auto wire that uh, um, uh, you are auto wiring interface i inside the class abcd so mm. for that uh, uh, you have to use at the rate qualifier annotation uh, to uh, uh, to be uh, uh, to be means to identify that which class i, I will use at the rate qualifier uh, qualifier and i will name as c then in that case only c class implementation will be going to be used uh, loaded and the use of the part uh, at the rate primary is like uh, suppose you are annotating a as a primary right so when you are uh, declaring uh, you, or you are uh, auto wiring the particular uh, interface uh, i so in that case you are not using uh, uh, qualifier then the class will be loaded is primary class that is a <coughs> okay hmm. got it okay so i think that's quite good at this point jay from my end right hmm. do you have any questions before wrapping up the call um any feedback from my me i loved the feedback to the recruiter because i'm not a, uh i mean i'm not allowed to give upfront feedback right okay, okay, okay. no sir. thank you yeah okay thank Thanks. you bye bye